But they decided to play politics with voting and elections in Georgia. Joe Biden similarly spread partisan lies about the Georgia law, so much so that the Washington Post, hardly a white right-wing outlet, the Washington Post predictably leans left, predictably leans Democratic. The Washington Post fact-checked Joe Biden on the Georgia law and gave him four Pinocchios, their worst rating for spreading partisan lies about it. And Major League Baseball's decision is indefensible on the merits. They made a decision to pull the All-Star game out of a city that is 51 percent African-American and move it to Denver, a city that is 9 percent African-American. I would note also that the new Georgia law gives Georgia voters two more days of early voting than Denver allows. This was not about voting. This was about virtue signaling, and this was about punishment. Major League Baseball made the decision that the more than half of its fans who happen to be Republicans are now disfavored and that voting, voter fraud is not a concern legislatures should focus on. That decision was harmful. It's going to hurt baseball. But it also underscores that there's no reason Major League Baseball should enjoy special subsidies, corporate welfare that no one else gets. As Mike Lee explained, Major League Baseball has had an exemption from the antitrust laws for nearly 100 years. It was made up by the U.S. Supreme Court. It's been in effect nearly 100 years. The other major sports leagues don't enjoy that exception. The NFL doesn't have that exception. The NBA doesn't have that exception. Somehow those sports leagues manage to do just fine. But baseball gets this very special carve-out of corporate welfare from Washington. They don't have to play by the same rules everybody else does. And we're standing here today to say Major League Baseball should have to play by the same rules. And if they're going to play partisan enforcer, they shouldn't expect to see special goodies from Washington when they are dishonestly acting to favor one party against the other and doing so in a way that is hurting thousands of small businesses in the city of Atlanta, many of which are owned by African Americans, thousands of African American workers in the city of Atlanta who are hurt by Major League Baseball's woke, dishonest decision that we're standing against. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.